In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of rotator cuff. First thing first, rotator cuff has four muscles. This one, red one, represents supraspinatus. This black tape represents infraspinatus. And this blue one is teres minor. Then if I go to anterior side, this beige one represents subscapularis. So again, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. There are four muscles in rotator cuff. I am going to explain each muscle's uh, attachment and function. Let's go to this red one. This is supraspinatus. The origin of supraspinatus is here, this concave surface. This place is supraspinous fossa. Supraspinous fossa. Oh my gosh, the name of muscle and origin are very uh, similar, right? This is supraspinatus. This concave surface is supraspinous fossa. The easy way to remember is you should remember this place. This place is spine of scapula. Spine of scapula. So, supraspinatus is above spine of scapula. That's why this muscle is supraspinatus. And this place is supraspinous fossa above this spine. That's why this is supraspinatus and supraspinous fossa. The insertion of supraspinatus is here, this bony part. This is greater tubercle, greater tubercle. And function of supraspinatus is abduction. This model doesn't move, so abduction, open up the arm. Especially this supraspinatus is important for initiation of abduction. This supraspinatus works when the first part of abduction. Supraspinatus, supraspinous fossa, and greater tubercle. Function is abduction. Especially it's important for initiation. So next one, this black one. This black tape represents what? Infraspinatus. Actually, this is a simplified model. In reality, infraspinatus is like this, covers whole surface of scapula, right here. So what is this place? What is origin of infraspinatus? Origin of infraspinatus is, uh, it's kind of similar to supraspinatus. There is a concave surface as well, right here. This place is called infraspinous fossa. That sounds very familiar with supraspinous fossa. Infraspinous fossa. Infraspinatus. Infraspinous fossa. Easy, right? And insertion is right here. Insertion of infraspinatus is also greater tubercle. Supraspinatus was greater tubercle and also infraspinatus attaches on greater tubercle. The function of infraspinatus, what would this muscle do if this muscle contracts this way? That means this muscle pulls shoulder this way. What's gonna happen? It will do external rotation. External rotation. This is very, very important. The next one, this blue one, what is this? This blue one is teres minor, teres minor. And it attaches on here, lateral border of scapula. But it's not from a whole part of lateral border. It's kind of a middle part of lateral border. It originates from lateral border. What is the insertion? It's very close to supraspinatus and infraspinatus, right? So, teres minor also attaches on greater tubercle. So, three muscles attach on greater tubercle. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor. 
The function of teres minor. What would it do if muscle pulls bone this way? This way. It will do external rotation of shoulder. So infraspinatus and teres minor do external rotation. It is important thing. Actually, there are not many shoulder external rotator. There are three muscles. Infraspinatus, teres minor, and posterior fiber of deltoid. That's it. Three muscles do external rotation. There are not many muscles, so each one should work properly. If one of these doesn't work properly, that would create problem on shoulder joint. That's very important. Let's go to the front part. This beige tape. This is subscapularis. What is origin of subscapularis? You see this concave surface? Again, concave surface. This is subscapularis. So this place should have name. What is it? You can guess. This is subscapularis. So this place is subscapular fossa. Oh my gosh, let's go back to supraspinatus. What was this place? Supraspinous fossa. Let's go to infraspinatus. What is this place? That was infraspinous fossa. Subscapularis, subscapular fossa. So the attachment of three out of four muscles, the name of the origin is very similar to name of muscle. Subscapularis, subscapular fossa. Insertion of subscapularis, it's different from other three. This is greater tubercle and this is lesser tubercle. That's different thing. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor attach on greater tubercle. Subscapularis attaches on lesser tubercle. That's different. And function of subscapularis. What is it? This is on anterior side. If subscapularis pulls bone this way, what is this movement? What is this movement? This is internal rotation of shoulder. So subscapularis is a little bit different from three other muscles. These attach on greater tubercle. These attaches on lesser tubercle. And subscapularis does internal rotation. Slightly different from other three muscles. Let's go to a review. This is supraspinatus from supraspinous fossa. Infraspinatus from infraspinous fossa. Teres minor from lateral border of scapula. These three attach on greater tubercle. Subscapularis, subscapular fossa attaches on lesser tubercle. So rotator cuff is very important to stabilize shoulder joint. There are so many big muscles here like deltoid or pec major in front part. These guys are very important to stabilize shoulder joint. So I hope this video helps your understanding of anatomy of rotator cuff. If you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in next video.